Hello, in this section of the course we're going to continue using the financial abilities of the calculator to do a few more uh, learning exercises with how to use the time value of money solver. You know, a lot of, a lot of us plan for retirement and um, or have a retirement planner that help, helps us with that and the basic idea there is you're putting a little bit of money into an account when you're very young and using the power of interest to grow that money because as interest comes in every year it goes back into the pile which then generates more interest in subsequent years and so if you can do that early enough in your life you can uh, grow a small amount of money into a very large amount of money if you start saving when you're 65 years old it's going to be difficult to get anywhere um, unless you're just socking away a huge amount of money at once so what we're going to do to calculate these sorts of questions the answers to these sorts of questions is we'll go back in the apps menu and we'll go to the finance tab same thing as before, we're going to use the TVM solver. So I think I mentioned before that you can use this to calculate things like mortgages, but you can also use it to see how your money is going to grow. And so we can do that. So let's let's first just zero this out, just so we don't have any uh, real things in here to distract us. That way we're basically starting over. That's good enough for now. Let's say we want to find out how many months or years it would take to reach a million dollars. Uh, in a bank account. So let's say we're earning something pretty reasonable like 6% interest and on a bank account and let's say we want to get to a million dollars. So in the future value down here we need to type in a million. So one zero 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 the magic one million dollars, right? So we want to get to there. So what we need to do first is figure out okay what is my initial deposit going to be? That's the present value. Um, present value meaning the value that when I start so what number do I want to start in there let's say that I've saved up you know a great deal of money and I save up fifty thousand dollars to start my bank account with and I'm going to put in fifty thousand but I'm not going to put it in as a positive number I have to put it as a negative number in order for the calculator to get the right answer the reason is because you need to think about this like a transaction between you and a bank you see so you are paying out uh, $50,000. So because you're giving away money, this payment's negative, just like uh, this present value. I mean, it's negative because you write a check for that much money to start your account, just like your payment was negative before because you were also paying money to the, to the bank. Now, you put this information into the calculator and you have an interest rate here that's given to you by the bank. You're paying the bank $50,000, so that money's coming out of your hands, so that's negative. But every month you make a small monthly payment, or in this case, in this example, a large monthly payment. Let's say that you commit to the bank to pay uh, $800 a month to them uh, to put into your bank account. So you put in $800, but you have to put it in as a negative number. And the reason is because that money's coming out of your pocket, so it's cash flow away from you. So you give them this much money, you give them this much every month, they are paying the account a certain amount of interest, and so the money's growing over time. And we want to find out how long does it take to reach a million dollars if we're doing 12 payments a year? So we go up to our unknown variable, which is n, the number of payments that it's going to take, and we hit alpha solve. And we get a number of 342.67 months. And if you're having trouble converting that to how many years, that's very easy as well. You just go into apps, finance, and go down to TVM. In. This is going to be automatically stored with the last value of n that we calculated and we just divide by 12 because there's 12 months in a year and we'll find out the answer is 28.56, 28 and a half years basically. So yeah, 28 years is a long time but if you think about it, if you start out young enough and, and have a decent nest egg to start out with and sock away a little bit every month, as long as the economy stays relatively stable, you'll be in great shape. Um, you know, by the time you're ready to retire and have plenty of money to live on and, and do all the things that you wanted to do. Now, you know, the TVM solver is used for so many things. That, that, that guy, we were putting in our known variables, which was how much we're paying, and we were calculating how, how long it would take to get there. But we can equally look at it and say, okay, well, what if we're going to, to do the same kind of thing? We're going to put in, let's say we're going to start out with a much smaller bank account. Let's put a one here. So this is $10,000, and instead of $800 a month, let's say we're going to put in $300 a month. And well, let's go ahead and zero out this guy because the future value is what we're going to calculate. Let's do, let's do 12 payments a year. 
So if we go up here, just as a curiosity, something a little more realistic, you start with $10,000 in the bank and you put in $300 a month. Not a huge uh, payment every month, but at least it's consistent. So we'll go in here and say, well, what's going to happen after, you know, let's say 15 years, a whole lot less. 15 years, so we can put 15 times 12. And when we put it in here, you can put numbers in here that are multiplied. You put enter, it's going to convert it to 180 months, which is what it really is. You go down here to your unknown, which is the future value. And let's solve for what the future value of this money really is. And it's alpha solve. And so we have $111,786. So quite a bit of money. And we started out with $10,000. And over 15 years, we put $300 a month in there. And so after this fixed term, we're looking to see how our money has grown. That's why we call it the time value of money. The more time it's in there, the, the larger it grows. And we can also quit out of here and go into the apps menu if we were a little bit more curious under finance to see exactly how much money we made over those 15 years. So we go to, we can look at the interest, same as we were doing before with the uh, mortgage. We can do interest and we can, we want to type in, uh, uh, we want to type in from month number one to month number 180 because remember it calculated that it was 180, uh, 180 months. How much interest did we earn total over that entire period above and beyond what we actually just put in the bank ourselves? And we earned $47,000 uh, over 15 years. So, you know, you're not going to retire on $47,000, but certainly, you know, $300 a month is very, very manageable. Um, by a lot of people and you know the ten thousand dollar initial deposit may or may not be manageable for a lot of people but you know it's it's definitely in the realm of possibility whereas not too many people have fifty thousand dollars to start a bank account with in the previous example but the point is and that was only for 15 years though the point is is that if you can start out younger and start your account and put it in there and let it grow even if your payments aren't big if they're just consistent then your bank account will grow exponentially and much like the mortgage example where we didn't really start to pay off our loan until the end with the interest example here our money starts to grow like an explosion there toward the end not too much in the beginning but it starts to grow it's basically the opposite of that mortgage example and we start to get really really great dividends toward the end there so it's a great thing to learn about. This calculator using these functions can teach you a lot about money and how to manage your life and, and investment decisions and things like that as long as you know how to use it. So I hope that this lesson has done that for you. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the lesson here. Go we'll play with it and use it. Uh, it's a fun thing to look at uh, changing different variables and solving. And I guarantee if you take one of these into a bank with you, um, they'll probably be a little bit more honest with you because they'll know that you know a thing or two about finance. So have fun with it. Play with it and it'll save you a lot of time and I think uh, give you a good bit of knowledge to uh, manage your finances.